Trying to fix my bra here. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Friday Night Mail. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? I hope you all are having a wonderful Friday evening or Saturday morning, depends on where you are, I suppose. Is it possible for it to be a Thursday night? I don't think so. Anyway, so we have a winner. This week, the winner is Warp Raven. That's her pseudonym. And she wanted a heartbreaker off the shoulder sweater. Congratulations, Warp Raven. I hope you can now warp around in style with my Tara Babcock merch. I love it when you guys choose Tara Babcock merch as winners of the giveaway. Oh my God, I'm hungry. I feel like it's just depleting my energy. My energy stores for enthusiasm and creating content are just like, Duh. I woke up so early this morning too because I had to go get my eyelashes done at 9.30 a.m. and I stayed up last night until like 3 a.m. so I'm a little bit tired and I can't sleep and I can't take a nap because I have to swallow because at 5.30 p.m. I have to go get my hair done. We're gonna try to make this a little bit more concise instead of me just rambling about my day. The first question is from you killed Kenny 9 Question, what are your thoughts on Clara Baby Legs becoming a cam girl and would you ever try it? I barely know anything about this chick, but from my knowledge, this happened a long time ago where she transitioned over to being a cam girl. But I personally abstain from having any thoughts on what other people do with their lives. I think what is right for them is completely personal and I can never apply my own opinions to actual logic to being like she should or shouldn't do this that doesn't make any sense to me but I would never be a cam girl because for me that's just not my thing if you want to know more about why I don't do porn why I don't do cam girling etc and actual cam girling I know you guys say that me playing video games on cam because of the way I look is cam girling but to me it is not and this is why I don't do the actual cam girling here's the video link will be in the description basically a quick rundown if you don't want to go watch the entire video is that porn just isn't for me because I feel like it would take a Away from a lot of the magic and awesomeness that is sex. It would become a job for me that wouldn't be cool. I'm not really interested in sharing that part of my intimacy with people who I do not deem worthy. Although I do like to tease, so that's why I'm okay with doing the fan service Fridays and the sexy pictures and the modeling and all of that stuff. Hopefully that sums it up. That might sound a little bit convoluted to you, but there's a lot of nuance in my own personal preference for myself. And it's not really something that anyone else has the right to influence me on. They of course can have their own opinions based on my life choices, especially with how public my life is. But it's neither here nor there because at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what makes me happy. And you should too. Next question is Austin Witten saying, hi Tara, question. By the way, if you say question in the beginning like Dwight, oh, you're probably gonna get picked. Well, at least you'll have a higher chance of getting picked. Did you have any other aspirations before modeling or YouTube? When did you decide this was the right path for you? Any advice for newcomers? Love you hot stuff, Brittany. Thank you, Brittany, for the awesome question. I got into modeling because I thought it would be sexy and fun and it was something that I didn't have to go to school for. Honestly, I love gaining knowledge and I like learning new things, but as far as academia goes and as far as going to college, paying for all that stuff, going to university, spending that much amount of my free time on that, I wait the pros and the cons and the good with the bad and I didn't feel like it was worth that many years of my life doing something so expensive and so unnecessary. When I could still read and discuss the things I wanted to learn about without actually going to college, trying to achieve a very far-fetched and specific profession like criminal psychologist just didn't seem fun to me. It didn't seem worth it. Being a writer didn't seem fun or worth it or profitable. I could be my own boss and an entrepreneur as a model and sex and sexuality just come so naturally to me that it made sense. But honestly, in the long run, I did find out that modeling was not for me. I don't like the traveling. I don't like the interpersonal communications. I don't like the people in the industry. Agencies and releases and all that stuff is just not fun for me. So while I still adore the aspects of modeling that I got into modeling for in the first place, those are highly diluted by all the things I don't like about modeling. I'm so fucking happy that I was able to be successful somewhat on YouTube and Twitch because those are the things I really love. Those are the places I feel like I really thrive where I'm able to be sexy and have an opinion, talk about philosophy, talk about ideas, just be myself, tell you guys stories, bridge the gap between entertaining blonde bombshell and intellectual that likes to talk about philosophical topics. And then combining those two personas with gaming right in the middle, my favorite hobby of all time. It's just just, just all over my face perfection. I fucking love it and I wouldn't do anything else if I could choose. Advice for newcomers, be your fucking self. Don't do things that jeopardize your sense of self or what you believe is right and what you believe is intrinsically you just for a little bit of money or fame. Don't piggyback off of other people. I know it's hard in the face of a lot of advertisers pulling out from YouTube and a lot of demonetization and people being censored and PC culture 
culture and all that shit. But if you have an idea, if you have a personality, if you have a skill, fucking show it off. Find your own niche and brand of uniqueness and fucking stick to that and do it to your heart's content. Make yourself happy. And the last question, Owen Finley asks, what offends you? Okay, so there's two definitions of the word offend. One of them is just like being upset, emotionally affected or butthurt by something that someone says. And then the other definition includes the word annoyed. If we're gonna define offended as annoyed, then oh, constantly. But if we're gonna define offended as hurting someone's feelings or being able to affect someone emotionally based on your own just opinion or something that you say, words, and not actually conflicting with their right to living their lives to the fullest, then I would say absolutely nothing offends me. I feel like being offended is a wasted emotion. It makes no sense logically or rationally, especially when it comes down to the words that people say on the internet hidden by anonymity who you're never gonna see and are never gonna affect you. I've never understood someone's opinion offending me. I have my own opinions on myself and that's all that matters. I have my own self-esteem and confidence and no one can waver that just because they have their own personal opinions. I understand the difference between opinions and fact and I understand that the world does not have one congruent opinion that actually transfers over to fact. So if someone says I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, I'm annoying, my content sucks, my fucking tits are floppy, whatever. That's what they're seeing and not actual objective fact. So it doesn't make any sense to allot any of your time and sorrow to these people when your opinion is all that matters. And if you think your tits are floppy and you're fat and you're boring and stupid, that's something you personally need to work on and someone harping that on you or agreeing with your opinion shouldn't make any difference. I hope that answers you guys' questions. As always, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. My comment section is always open if you have any criticisms to anything I say or you're confused about anything, feel free to say it. I am much, much better as a writer than I am as a public speaker, so if something's confusing, I would be happy to elaborate. Also, if you wanna sign up for the giveaway this week, free shit, why the fuck wouldn't you? The link will be in the description at the very top of the description. Follow the link, do the easy shit, get some free shit. Yeah, you can choose between Tara Babcock merch of your choice, an autographed 8x10, or a Steam game of your choice. So, first thing I wanna show you guys is I got this in my actual P.O. box, and I know you probably haven't seen my P.O. box, but like doing this to this thing literally takes up 100% of my P.O. box. Uline shipping supply specialist quality runs in the family. Okay, so these things are called runs, I believe, so it's kind of like a pun, it's really cute. And it says, this is the industrial size, this is big mama, and this is big daddy. I can't help but feel like I already love this company. I thought it was kind of silly, because I was like, why would they send this to me? And then I realized they probably just send it to people who get a lot of in and out in the post office and the P.O. box. And there's actually a bunch of really interesting stuff in here. There's like cute little icons for things that need to not be refrigerated or to not be frozen or keep frozen. It's like a little penguin in a tuxedo. Very fucking cute. A lot of stickers you can get. I'm actually thinking about buying maybe some labels and postage once I move or maybe some boxes get like on the wholesale level because I'm often sending you guys merch and stuff and then I'm doing it by buying all of these supplies not wholesale and spending a lot of money on boxes and shipping and all of that stuff. So something interesting I just thought I would share with you guys. Neither here nor there. The next thing we got is something from Sean Black, one of my favorite people in the entire universe. He sent me one of these mailers that if you cut through the middle it like explodes with feathers. I don't I don't know who made that, but it seems almost like insulation. Like, you know, that shit you're not supposed to eat, but they eat in Family Guy. If you haven't seen that episode, you should. Oh my God, and there's stickiness. First thing we have is, ooh, we have a lanyard with uh, all the fucking Nintendo characters. Well, it's actually just the Mario universe. Wario and Luigi. We've got a one-up mushroom. We've got a Koopa. We've got a bullet bill. <laughs> I like this, this is cool. And on the end, we have a little squishy Mario. And we have a game. What game is it? Oh, it's not a game. It's the Assassin's Creed movie. No way. No fucking way, dude. I was thinking about going to actually see this. A lot of people that I respect the opinion of said that it's very, very bad, but I like Michael Fassbender. He's very cool. He has a German last name. I really liked him in the fucking X-Men movies and I would like to see this movie. So shit, now I have it. Thank you so much, Sean. Oh God, I just threw it everywhere. It's broken now. Only at Target, exclusive Assassin's Creed hidden arm dagger sleeve designed by the game developers. Oh my God, that's why it's kind of squishy. Oh, I'm so glad I opened this. Usually I don't open the DVDs here because it's like, why would I do an unboxing of the DVD? It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna try to see Jay put this on. That would be fucking hilarious. It 100% would not fit him. Thank you, Sean. This is a fucking awesome gift. Uh, uh. By the way, guys, like to expand on the whole, like how I knew I wanted to be a YouTuber and it's like my calling, I feel like, and 
all of this stuff is just so awesome. Oh, there's another side. It's like black and white with like Boo and Chain Chomp. Oh my God, and like a dead Koopa. I fucking love it. The happy side of the universe and the bad side or the dark side, I guess you would say. But anyway, to expand on all of that, I just want to thank you guys for giving me this platform. I want to thank YouTube for existing as many problems as it has. It's really awesome that something like this exists where we can be self-sufficient while not having to deal with all the technical difficulties of running and promoting our own websites. The community here on YouTube is amazing. Even though there are some trolls and some toxic people, it always has thought-provoking conversations down in the comments for me. You guys are part of that community and I love you so much. Thank you for letting me be here and letting me continue to be here. And I'm saying this mostly to my patrons because as most of you know, ad rev is shit, especially for someone like me who is not advertiser friendly. So I'm really appreciative that you guys like my stuff enough to continue watching and to sometimes even support in a monetary fashion. That's just fucking amazing. Aw, is this from Danui? Danui got me some headphones. He asked me what color and then I said red. And then he said, well, red's more expensive. And I said, well, don't get red then. And he said, well, we've already committed to red. And I, I can't believe it. He did it. Hey, sexy bass junkie. I think you're a bit of a bass junkie. So here you go. Heart, I'm loving the sound. I hope you'll enjoy, heart. Note, if the headphone starts wheezing, then the battery is dead. Much love. Guess from who? Obviously, Danui. By the way, if you watch yesterday's video, you will see that Danui made me a fan fiction fucking smuttacular awesome story that I made into a video because we're trying this shit out. So if you want to see that, I will post a link in the description. I will also post a link to his gaming channel. He is a gaming YouTuber. Thank you so much, Danui. I don't know if I should be doing an unboxing of these? I guess not. They're just headphones, right? They're really cool though. Like, look, it opens like that. And then I guess we're just doing a mini unboxing here. It's got, ah! <laughs> it's got a fucking little bag that's like really satiny. And then here are the headphones. He knows that I like headphones to have a lot of bass when I'm listening to music. So he found these and bought them for me. So it comes with a double A battery and the cord, which has like a, a remote on it. Should we just listen to some music? Let's, let's. Listen to some music with this. Oh my god, okay, it has a bass slider on on the, the back of the thing or whatever. Yeah, I think I have it on backwards or something, so let's see. I think it on, I have it on backwards. Obviously, I was just screaming at you, probably. Let's see if I can regulate my voice. Like, it's actually shaking right now, which is pretty cool, but let's see if I can regulate my voice while I have this on. Am I yelling right now? I feel like I'm being completely normal. I'm not yelling at all, but yeah, my head is shaking. It actually feels really good. I like it. Thank you so much to new guy. I really appreciate this. This is awesome. I just want to listen to this. Okay, I'm probably yelling right now. Am I yelling? I can't tell if I'm yelling. Ah! All right, enough of that. I think I just I just want to listen to music instead of actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that that's just counterproductive. We're recording a video. Thank you so much to new guys. Actually a really fucking good gift because I love listening to music. Oh shit, we've got another bondage bear. Good boy, Rubber Cuck. Rubber Cuck says, Hi LMT, here is Sam. You are the son of Sam. If you watched the last FNM, I tasked Rubber Tongue. Tasked, why is it tasked? Why is it so hard to say? I just burped, sorry. So I tasked Rubber Tongue. I always say tasked because tasked. Is it my accent? I don't fucking know. I told Rubber Tongue to get all of these bears. He already got me, was it, it's Ray. He got me Ray last time. This time he got me Sam. Now he needs to get me Charlie, Jesse, Billy, and Dakota. It's so funny because they, they actually put the nose and the eyes on the bears that are gonna have their faces completely covered. He's got a fucking actual leash. This is more Rubber Tongue than the last one I feel because the leash, I need to get Rubber Tongue like a legit leash that he can discreetly wear at all times. I actually have a present lined up for him because he edited a few videos for me. So he's been a good boy, but he's also been a really bad boy. So I don't know, I'm conflicted. Anyway, his ass is just legitimately out. Like this is the anal rape bear 2.0. You just fucking 2.0, what's 1.0? I don't know, what the fuck? So you put him on his, his all fours and then you fucking hold him by his leash. You wrap it around his neck like really tight and you fucking while you fucking ream him anally. I don't see any problem with this. If you do post in the comments so we can identify the cucksters. Good boy, Rubber Cuckarino. Rubber got me another bondage bear. Two in one video, Rubber? You're supposed to, you're supposed to make sure that two are not in one video. Like, that's just good pacing, okay? Lovely LMT, please meet Billy. This is Billy, the fucking bear that likes to be tied up as fuck. 
I once did a photo shoot with a photographer who tied me up like bondage style. He was really good at it. For some reason, we were shooting in this old abandoned train car that looks like it literally would have syringes on the floor. I don't know if I remember it that way because that's the feeling that I got from it. It had a bunch of shit all over the walls and I could not find that shoot. Oh my God, I wanna show you guys that shoot. It was like a picture of me bound and gagged. I don't think I was gagged, but like from the back and you can see like the shape of my, it was really, really hot, really hot. As you can see, they do have eyes. His name is what, Billy? Billy and Sam, the teddy bear replicas of Rubber Tongue. These are all depending on Rubber Tongue's mood, apparently. Sometimes he likes the rope. Sometimes he likes the leather panties that show his anus for penetration. All right, we've got one big last box. And since it's big and since it appears to be gift wrapped through the hole, I'm gonna assume that the real Donald strikes again. Oh, this is such a big thing here. Please don't be Donald or do be Donald, I can't tell. Oh, it's from Donald. I heard you were a big fan of heavy metal, so I thought you could use this. Take this out of the box and try it out on camera. It would be awesome. Love, Donald. Oh, oh how do I get it? Okay, it says 11 piece kids boy girl drum set musical instrument. Oh, this is cool. How the fuck did this person get this in this fucking bag? Arr, please explain. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, musical studio drum set, large, large bass drum with foot pedal, two medium drum, three small drum, cymbal and drumsticks. Oh my God. It's for future rockers. What about current rockers? I'm a current rocker. What do you mean future rockers? Like literally like, Still a fetus in the womb. Ah, oh, things are falling everywhere. Ow, I cut myself. Everything's in here. I don't know how to set this up. Oh, we got some drumsticks, bitch. <laughs> oh man, we got some fucking, ooh, drumsticks. Mm, drumsticks in place. Here we go, I'm a little drummer cuck. Bum, da 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 bum. You know, I said I was gonna refrain from using the word cuck so colloquially as a fucking, fucking thing, as a diss or something because it's so gay to me. But then I go ahead and do it. Ah! All right, so this probably fits in somewhere. I don't know how to set this up. We're gonna have, J I'm gonna have Jay set it up for me and then we're gonna finish this video. That's what we're gonna do. I will be back. I shan't disappoint you guys. We will put some footage at the end of the video, which is gonna be pretty soon because we just opened the last box of me playing this drum set. Jay is in a game right now, so he's not able to build it for me, but thank God for men. <sighs> Patriarchy. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did. There's two videos over here you can watch and if you want to watch yesterday's video, it is me reading some smut made by someone whose second language is English and has never lived in America or any other English speaking country. Should be very fun, very cool. The new guy is fucking amazing. Thank you so much. Sean, Donald, Nui, I love you all. Rubber tongue, you're a good boy, but you need to space out the gimp teddy bears, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to post questions for next week and also sign up for the giveaway because I love giving you guys free shit. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think of my experimentation recently with braids. I'm doing my best. My best isn't very good, but I'm building that dexterity. Woo! It's like I'm spending a bunch of time in a game on the braid mechanics so that I can up my dexterity for, you know, in future quests or something. I love you guys. Thank you. Actually, I was in band for many, many years, but I played the flute. And all I learned in band was how to kind of hold drumsticks and nothing else. Donald, this is definitely the coolest thing you've ever gotten me. It was more personalized. I think you heard me when I said that we had a connection. Bye, guys.